I was actually requested to make this video, but I think the main reason I'm making it is because I'm trying to calm myself down before results day. Because let's be real, it's impossible not to panic, and 2020 hasn't been the best year for anyone. Hey guys, welcome to or back to my YouTube channel, and in today's video, I thought I would share how I prevent panicking on results day and a few reasons why you shouldn't worry about your results this year. And without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so first I'm going to be sharing with you guys a few ways I try and prevent panic on results day. The first thing I do is stay away from social media. Seeing and hearing other people panic will also make you panic. I remember last year on Instagram, everyone was posting countdowns to results day and I just think that's so unnecessary and it makes you worry so much. So staying away from social media just helps me think clearly and will allow you to make decisions after you get your results. Next is friends. I like to not talk to my friends about results. Especially this year, we don't know anything about the new grading system, so there's going to be a lot of panic within your friend group or maybe your um, teachers and family. Just focus on things that you can do and ignore things that you can't control. I may be contradicting my previous point here, but if you feel like talking to someone about your stress will help you cope with it, then that's the right thing to do. Now, yeah, just maybe speaking with your friends, family, maybe your older siblings, um, if that's going to help you feel less stressed out, then you should totally do that. I personally do not prefer talking about my results or results day, I just ignore it till it shows up. But feel free to do what makes you feel comfortable and relaxed. Speaking of relaxing, just relax the day before results day, read a book or watch a movie, um, just try and get your mind off of your results. There's honestly no point worrying because depending on when you're watching this, either you've finished giving your exams or in our case you haven't even given them and so there's nothing you can do about your grades. The only thing you can do is look forward and find out what to do next and fingers crossed for your results. Now on to a few reasons why you shouldn't worry about results day. Now this year especially, we have no control over the results we get. Our grades are mostly in the hands of CIE and the teachers that predicted our grades. It can be a little bit unsettling to not have any idea about what grade you could get, but at least you know that whatever grade you get is not your fault and you can't really be held accountable for it. 2020 hasn't been a good year for most of us. I'd like to, I think everyone hasn't had a good year this year. Just reassure yourself that everything is going to be fine. And if you do get low grades, just know that there's going to be a lot of other people in the same boat as you. And so you're not alone and you will find a way to solve your problem. Remember that you can always retake your exams, appeal for a better grade. I'm not sure how that process works, but if I do find it out, I might do a video about it. And so there's no reason to feel defeated or disappointed because there will always be a different path that you can take. Just keep your mind open on results day, do not panic, and fingers crossed for your results. Whatever you get, just know that you're not alone, and good luck! If you're feeling stressed right now, feel free to talk about results day in the comment section. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And leave me a comment below if you guys have any other video requests. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!